Hey chaps, this is a uh, quick update slash overview of uh, Lion Rampant and uh, the Perry Miniatures English Army. Um, so I recently picked up this um, rule book here from Osprey because uh, I've always been interested in the medieval period, particularly the Hundred Years' War and uh, Scottish War of Independence. Uh, I used to live uh, not too far away from uh, Bannockburn up in Scotland, so uh, yeah, I've got quite a bit of interest in the subject. Um, and But I, I didn't want to spend so much on miniatures and stuff, and what's great is, is this rule set um, has lists in it that um, allow me to get a whole army out of just one box, this box here. Uh, being English, uh, I've obviously had to go for the English here because uh, yeah, a bit tasty. Uh, loving the uh, long bows like um, Cressy and Agincourt and uh, a bit of Falkirk and Durham. So uh, let's get stuck in, shall we? The, the, the rule set is very nice. It's very simple, um, very intuitive. Um, it's, it's not very heavy, so if you are into your big war games like Black Powder and that, you're probably best off with something like Hell Caesar, um, which I do also love, but um, it's more to have a full painted army on the table and playing in a quick sort of amount of time instead of spending years painting an army and then, yeah, a few minutes playing the actual game. So... Uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got some really nice artwork in here and some really good photos. Uh, it's really well written as well, which, um, yeah, it's, it's quite nice. A lot of thought has gone into this rule book. It, it's uh, written by Daniel Mersey there. So, yeah, so that's the rule book. Um, there is, in fact, I'll show you the list that I'm making. Uh, let's find it here. Um, Bear with me two secs, guys. Here we go. Uh, what I'm doing is the later English... Oh, um, this one here. Edward III onwards, um, which is... If we can fix in there. One foot men-at-arms, two expert archers, and one foot sergeants. This is the footmen. You have six in a unit. Uh, archers, you have 12 guys in a unit. Foot sergeants, you also have 12 guys. However, I'm replacing these with six from the f uh, foot men at arms because you get 12 in the English box set. So 12 English me uh, men at arms, uh, 24 archers, which is exactly what you get in this box here. So let's have a look at this box. Uh, the artwork, as you can see, is very nice. Um, as with all Perry uh, miniature English, uh, pla sorry, plastic box sets, you get this on the back, showing you what you get and the actual size down there. Let's have a quick look. There have been um, other reviews, up, so I'll only do a quick video of these guys. But let's have a look here. So you get um, one, two, three, uh, four sprues of archers, which uh, are very nice sprues. You also get enough to equip some with hand weapons like these uh, mallets and um, uh, swords. Uh, you also get the stakes, which were very important in a defensive role for the archers, particularly against French cavalry. Um, so that's these guys here. All the heads are separate, as you can see. So what I do like is the long bows actually look like long bows in the War of the Roses box set that Perry do. The long bows are slightly shorter. Um, I mean, I'm no expert on the bows. I don't know if they did get shorter or not, but um, yeah, they look more impressive in this set, shall I say. So that's the archers. Then we have the men at arms. You get two lots of these. Again, the heads on these are connected to the body, so um, that's a bit different, but consider it, I, I couldn't see how else they could have done it um, looking at the uh, design here. So, 
You get um, some pole arms, a couple of uh, shortened lances, so that's quite nice. Um, also, you get a banner. Um, I won't be using them because I have I've already got bannermen from other sets, so I'll use them instead. Yeah, so we got that. And here's the second one. Let's have a look at the back here. You get a couple with uh, surcoats or dupons or I can't remember what they're called, they're actually called, but bear with me two secs. Um, yeah, dupon, they are the dupons, uh, which is this guy here, and I think it's the guy running, yeah, that guy there at the end. Um, so you can put some heraldry on them. The English tended to wear white uh, armour, or, or basically plain armour, while the French tended to use the dupons a lot more, particularly in this period anyway. Uh, you also get some bases, standard uh, Renendra sort of stuff, so yeah, kind of expected. And you get this lovely little pamphlet here, which shows, gives you a bit of the history, uh, the banners, you can cut these out, uh, which I'll probably do and put them on this, so, and these here. I like the new style of artwork they've gone for here, I don't know if they've, um, yeah, it, uh, it looks like they've got photos of the miniatures and then they've kind of done artwork over the top of them. So, uh, yeah, very nice. Very nice kit, very nice rule set, and I'll keep you posting on this one, guys. So uh, take care, have a great Christmas, and uh, see you in the next vid.